Dozens of sheriffs converged on Kauai's dilapidated Coco Palms Resort this morning, arresting a woman who refused to leave. Developers want to renovate the iconic resort, but a group of native Hawaiians is claiming ancestral rights. Jen Boniza has more from Kauai. The battle between a group of native Hawaiians and developers came to a head today here at Coco Palms. Amidst chants and questions, a handful of native Hawaiians was evicted from Wailua Nui Ahoano on Kauai, better known as Coco Palms. 25 sheriffs and Kauai police ordered them off the land. One woman was arrested for refusing to leave. The group took up residence there almost two years ago. Several claim it is their ancestral land. They are referred to as Kia'i of Wailua Nui Ahoano, the caretakers of Wailua. We came to make a stand to take care of this vahipano over here with all our burials, lo'is, lo'i, loko'i'as, and take care of it. Nobody's been malama in the aina for 25 years, even though we had developers in here for the past 25 years. Nobody's done anything. Noamao Espirito thought the group had until tomorrow when they planned to go back to court to challenge the order to remove them. He told me he has documents to prove it. Oh, well, we need to see paperwork because we have a letter from our attorney general that Judge Soong's ruling is still pending. Hurricane Iniki ravaged Coco Palms Resort in 1992. Several developers have tried to rebuild since but failed. No one from Coco Palms Hui LLC could speak to me on camera today, but sent this statement saying they are grateful that this particular saga in the rebuild of Coco Palms Resort is now history. We look forward to the next steps with final designs, engineering, permitting, and then starting construction. In the meantime, sheriffs remain posted at the entrance to the property. But the Kia'i of Wailua Nui Ahoano tell me it's not over. So what's next? We're going to come back. Noah Mao Espirito plans to meet with the Attorney General tomorrow. We'll keep you updated on the situation. From Kauai, Jen Boniza, KHON2 News.